We have a 2017 Rockwood Mini Light 2504S. We've had it three years. We went recently, just got back from a 5,000 mile uh, cross country trip. And uh, prior to going on the trip, I did an inspection of the tires and brakes and bearings and everything. And um, I noticed the tire tread was uh, uneven on this front tire here. The outside tread was quite a bit less than the inside tread. And then I, so I checked all the tires and they were all okay except for this one tire. So I started checking things out and I noticed, I'll show you, I put a level here so that you can see what's happening. I got, I read this on the internet was what you do is you put a straight edge all the way across the tires and they should the level should lay flat against here all the way down so here's what I got there's a gap there then it's tight there and then you can see here there's a gap there so what this means to me is this one tire here is pointed inwards. It's towing in. So it's wearing the tread more here than over here. So I sent all my information to Dexter and I filed a claim on it. Um, and so what they did, they determined that the, the, the spindle or the axle could be bent. Um, so they sent me a brand new axle at no cost. So I'm going to install this and then it should be fairly easy here. Um, let me go back to the axle. It actually only has two bolts on each side here. So there's a bolt here and then, then there's one up front here. So there's only two bolts that hold it in on each side. And then you got to do the wiring too, which is not a big deal um, to do. So it's kind of nice. I was lucky that they covered it. They said I just met the warranty period. And I actually was over a little bit, but they sent it anyway. So I did this test here. And then I put the level on this side. It, it was like this on the other side. It laid uh, perfectly flush against the tire in all four spots. And then I took a measurement from the frame to the tire on the on the back, and then on the front of the tire, and it's a quarter of an inch off in the distance of this tire width. So, and then after checking this tire, the back tire, which is okay the same way it's straight so there's no problems there so i've determined that it's this axle and i'm gonna uh, now replace the axle i got the jack here i'm gonna set it up in between the tires and jack it up and then remove the tires and then the axle and replace it so another thing that happened on my long trip during a trip about 4,500 miles into the trip all of a sudden we stopped for gas and then went to pull out and I heard a grinding noise and this back tire was grinding so I pulled the tire and then uh, pulled the hub and then all these brake parts came out so I rigged it up, I squeezed, squeezed the brakes together, put zip ties on, put it back on, and finished my trip with just uh, three brakes on it. And I took and snipped the wire to the, the brakes so that it wouldn't actuate if I applied the brakes. So I'm going to do another video on this, this repair, what I do. Uh, I've ordered new brakes for it, and then I might have to have the hub uh, turned as you can see 
this was rubbing inside there so when I I was in a hurry to do the fix so I'd be on the road because I was in the middle of destination and uh, the destination where we're going so I think there's probably damage to the hub so what I might do is when I replace this hub or this uh, axle I might be able to take a hub off the old one and then uh, have it turned when I do the new brakes on the back so that'll be a future video so keep an eye out for it so let's get on with this so now I have the tires off and uh, what I did is I had it jacked up over there I had my wheel chocks in and then I lowered the jack down and I got enough clearance to remove the axle with it down like that my chocks here here's the uh, jack stand in place and I have a board that carries across the frame and the distance uh, between the axles making sure not to pinch the brake wires to remove the lug nuts I use a three-quarter inch socket I broke them loose with this and the three-quarter inch socket prior to lifting the uh, tire off the ground just loosen them up jacked it up and then just use my impact to remove them I'll show you under here there's the two bolts I need to remove I have uh, two on each side to remove the axle and then rebolt it in place and then I'll just cut the wires to the brakes here and then reconnect them after should be a fairly simple job so on the axle I have the center supported with my jack over on one side you can see here I removed the bolt I've removed two bolts and here's a bolt and these are like uh, lock nuts so they're pretty tight um, all the way through I'm threading them all the way off so that's good they won't vibrate loose if, um, if they become loose at all it'll be pretty hard to do because it's a lock nut so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and lower this axle out of the way I've already cut the wires here on each side I got the old axle out now the new one goes in so the new axle's in, kind of put it in the same way, took the old one out, put the jack in the middle, and then took uh, me and my wife, we took and rolled it in under here, and it's in place. Bolted up in place for the four bolts, torqued them down, and now I just got to wire up the brakes. The next thing I do is easy, these are easy lube hubs, a uh, bearing. So um, just got a grease gun, connect to here, pump, pump the grease while turning this slowly. Pump the grease in slow so you don't blow out the seals. And then what will happen is the, um, once it's full, the grease will start coming out of here. And then I'm done. If I was going to be just doing a grease job after a one year, I would pump the grease in here until I saw that uh, all, all the old grease come out and then the new grease uh, come out behind it. And then it's done. Just be careful doing it to keep this rotating and pump the grease in very slowly so you don't ruin the seals. So here it is after I'm done. You can see the grease came out a little bit. It only took a few pumps, so they had it um, pretty full. When I originally got the trailer, uh, I did it, and I had to pump quite a bit in there to get it to come out because they hadn't put much grease in, but this new axle has uh, 
significant grease in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side and make sure it's okay. I've got one side uh, wired up here. And what I got here is a shrink tubing, small one, these blue butt connectors that shrink down. You apply heat to them after you put them on and then they shrink tight and it's windy here. And then I have the crimper to crimp these down, tape and strippers. So what I did was I just caught this wire here. I looked around for these. They don't have them anywhere local here, so I'm just going to use them. So um, the existing ones. So I heat trunk those on. Then I took and slid one over here over the wires, shrink, heat shrink tubing, just like this stuff here. Heat it on. And then I'm going to take the small zip ties and zip tie this together and just wrap some tape around it. So what I've done was underneath, um, in order to get slack, I cut one of the zip ties holding it in place so I could pull this out and work on it easier. And then I'll reattach it later after I'm done here. That's all there is to it. Here it is with the zip tie on. Now I'll put the tape over it. Here it is all taped up. I'll tuck that back in there and then I'll zip tie it to the beam underneath here. It goes on the axle, it zip ties on that. So one side done, I'll get the other side. The other side's done. All I gotta do is put the zip tie on it and tape it in place. And then I'll put my zip ties back underneath the trailer holding the wires in place. Everything's back together, so let's take a look at it. We're all good now. I'm glad I got this axle replaced and that uh, Dexter provided it to me at no cost. Happy camping, everybody. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit subscribe and uh, the little bell icon to get uh, future notices. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, just click on my name too and you'll see all my other videos I have, roughly 35 of them. So I'll be coming out with some more soon and uh, I'll be changing out the brakes and hubs here on this back axle real soon. So watch for that video.